Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to bring this makeup look to you today. I have created a 100% versatile smoky eye that should suit any eye color and any lip color that you decide to wear. It is really easy to recreate at home and it's my go-to look at the moment. It has neutral tones, so nothing is going to clash with any lip color you decide to wear. It should suit almost everyone. I'm hoping it suits almost everyone. So if you want to see how I got this flawless base and smoky eyes, and if you want to see me try on three different lip colors with it, stay tuned. To prep my skin for my foundation today, I started off with the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. This will hydrate the skin and also smooth out any imperfections. And I also used the Pep Start Eye Cream to make sure my eyes were nice and hydrated. For my foundation today, I'm using the Clinique Super Balanced Silk Makeup SPF 15. This is my new favorite foundation and that is not just because I'm working with Clinique. This is the only foundation I've been using lately. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I'm going to apply this with a damp sponge today to get a really nice natural look. The shade I'm using today is number seven. I think it's called Sahara and this is a really nice yellow toned foundation for fake tan wearers. So that's a nice tip for you guys there if you are fair like me but you do wear fake tan. It looks a little bit dark going onto my skin but that's because I'm matching my face to my chest and body not to the colour of my face. Again I wear fake tan on my body so I can't go around with a white face and a tanned body. My favourite thing about this foundation is that it gives you a medium coverage so it covers up all of those imperfections and pigmentation and spots in your skin but it looks like skin. It isn't too glowy so it doesn't look super greasy on the skin but it's also not too matte so it doesn't accentuate dry patches. It's this really nice kind of demi matte finish, a satin finish I guess you could say. I have just fallen so in love with it and normally I would set all of my foundations. Like I am notorious for using powder with my foundations. I will be using powder with this one today just because of the way that I'm going to be applying my makeup. But normally I do not need powder with this. I can actually go and wear this throughout the day and it just looks so beautiful on the skin. I wouldn't touch it with powder. But for today's look, because we want it to last extra long and because we'll be applying powder products on top, I'm going to use a little bit of powder on the top of it. Please excuse the burn mark on my forehead. I touched my curlers to my forehead and there is practically a hole in my forehead. Clever me. So that is just one light layer of the Super Balanced Silk Foundation. And as you can see, the coverage is really nice on my skin, but it still looks like skin. I look radiant and healthy looking. I don't look overly made up and oh, you need to try this foundation. Go into a clinic counter and get a sample even if you can. It is beautiful. I'm so in love with it. As you can see it has a medium coverage but it feels like nothing on the skin and it also has SPF in it which is great for the summer weather that we're getting here in Australia. You definitely want to be using SPF in your products wherever you can. So now to conceal under my eyes I'm going to use the Clinique All About Eyes Concealer in the shade 1 Light Neutral. I just like to put a little blob of this under my eyes like this and then I grab a concealer brush and kind of share those blobs out around my face to highlight the center portions of my face and to conceal under my eyes. So I like to take my highlight to my top lip and my chin as well as under my eyes because I really don't like that look of super white bright under eyes but then the highlight isn't anywhere else in the face. I think it looks very strange so I like to make sure it's nice and uniform throughout the center of the face. This concealer has great coverage, but it's super hydrating, so you're not gonna get that kind of crepey under eye look with it. If you've got pigmentation on your eyelids like I do, just popping that little bit of concealer up there will help to mask any of that pigmentation and will help your eyeshadow to look super seamless and smooth. Now I'm just going back in with my sponge to make sure all of that is blended really nicely. Now to cream bronze and slightly contour the face, I'm going to use the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour, which is this here. I just like to use this in the usual kind of contouring and bronzing areas to warm up the face and give some definition. So kind of just like in those areas there, around the cheekbone, across the forehead and under the chin for sculpting. And again, going back in with my damp sponge to blend it out. You could totally use your fingers for this, but I just tend to use the sponge because I don't like to get my fingers dirty, but 
it's totally up to you. You can just add a little bit more if you want some more definition. Just make sure to blend that right up into the hairline so it looks natural. Well, as natural as makeup can look. <laughs> Now that the skin is looking really nice and even and bronzed and our under eyes are concealed, I'm just going to set that with some translucent powder. Today I'll be using the Clinique Blended Face Powder in the shade number eight, Transparency Neutral. I'm using my sponge just to add some right under the eyes to set that concealer so it doesn't crease or move. Also up onto the eyelids because then our eyeshadow will blend really nicely over the top. If you're ever worried about blending, make sure that you're setting cream products on your face before you put powder over them. To set the rest of the face, I'm just going to use a duo fiber brush. This will just add a very sheer layer to the rest of the face and not make it look cakey or anything. To bronze my face today, I'm going to use the True Bronze Pressed Powder Bronzer in the shade 2 Sunkissed. I'm just adding that to the outer areas of my face and across my cheeks, just to really warm up the face and also kind of sculpt it and bring it in as well. I also like to add some to the jawline just to make sure the face looks nice and slim. Just a little bit to the tip of the nose. For blusher, I'm going to use the Blushing Blush Powder Blush, that's a bit of a mouthful, in the shade 102 Innocent Peach. This is a beautiful peach shade that will just really brighten up the face and make it look nice and flushed and youthful. And I'm just going to pop it back and forth here on the apples of the cheeks. As you can see, this just kind of brightens up the face and it's also really flattering for my eye color. For a very natural glow to the face, I'm going to use the Sculptionary Cheek Contouring Palette in the shade 4 Defining Nudes. And I'm just going to gather some product from this section here and highlight the tops of the cheekbones. I also like to add a tiny touch of highlight to the tops of the eyebrows, to the center of the nose, and to the cupid's bow. Now we're on to eyebrows. Firstly, I like to brush my eyebrows out to make sure that there's no extra product in them. And just so that all of the hairs are in the place that we want them to be. Then using the Clinique Super Fine Liner for brows, I'm going to trace my natural shape and just enhance it. Starting at the bottom of the brow, Then along the top. And then kind of filling in the center portions. As I go along, I will keep brushing through the brow to make sure the product is evenly distributed and I don't get any kind of unnatural looking streaks. Then to add some texture to my brows and some dimension with color, I'm going to use the Just Browsing Brush on Styling Mousse. This will just separate the hairs and make my brows look nice and full. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to start with the All About Shadow Quad in the shade Teddy Bear. This is my current favorite everyday eyeshadow palette. It has, oh, if I can open it. <laughs> it has three neutral browns inside and a really nice light cream as well, this side. <laughs> and I just find it so easy for everyday use. I use the lighter shades in the crease and then the darker shade on the lid. But you can also build it up for nighttime, which I'm going to show you how to do now. So first off, I'm taking that nice light cream shade and putting that all over the lid. Just using a fluffy brush, you don't have to be too precise about this at all. Now I'm using these two middle shades here in and above the crease. I start off with the light brown and use that all above my crease. It's such a natural kind of skin color shade, but it's just going to give a little bit of definition and help us kind of figure out where we want the smokiness to go up to. I just like to build that up in back and forth motions and kind of do a little bit of a swirl on the outer edge to blend. And just take your time building this up. That's what eyeshadow blending is all about. 
just taking your time until it looks the way you want it to. So as you can see, that's just given us some very subtle definition. Now I'm going to go into this more gray toned brown and I'm going to apply that more heavily into the crease area and slightly above the crease area. These eyeshadows blend together so seamlessly. It really is no work at all. As you can see, I am just slapping that on back and forth and it just looks seamless. And they build up nice and sheerly too. You don't get an overly saturated amount of pigment at first, so you're less likely to make mistakes but they do also build up to a really nice pigment too. So it's a nice middle ground. And now all I'm doing is applying that last deep chocolatey shade all over the lid and up to the crease. I'm just building up to the intensity I want, starting in kind of small layers. And just winging it out towards the end to create a nice elongated look. And as always, just back in with that fluffy brush to make sure the edges are nice and seamless and fully blended. Now I'm just going to deepen up the look using the All About Shadows quad in the shade number two, Jenna's Essentials. As you can see here, it just has a few more darker shades in. And right now I'm going to dip into this brown and a little bit into the black to deepen up the outer V. So on a much more precise fluffy brush, I'm just going to start building that up in the outer corner in a V shape. The trick here is to build up in small layers instead of going in with lots of product at once. You can always add more product, but you cannot take it away and that's where the mistakes happen. As you can see, I'm just applying that in a V shape all along the outer corner. And using the fluffy brush that I applied the brown with, I'm blending out the edges. Once again, I'm just going over those edges to make sure they're nice and blended all about that blend. Then I'm just going to quickly use the High Impact Custom Black Kajal Liner and I'm going to line my upper lash line with this. Focusing more on the outer corner than anything else. And then I'm going to smudge it out with a really small pencil brush. Then I'm just going to go back in and touch up that brown eyeshadow and this will also just help blend that lash line. I'm also just going to touch up the darkness in the outer V. And this way we can make sure that the liner is almost like invisible, it's just blending in to that outer smoky area. You always want to be working in a V, a sideways V shape to really elongate the eye. Now I'm just gonna add a touch of mascara. We're almost finished with the eyes completely. I'm keeping everything on the top lash line today, so I'm not going to put any eyeshadow or any mascara on the bottom lash line. I want it to be a top heavy, kind of sexy look. The mascara that I'm using is the Clinique Chubby Lash Mascara. You could also use false lashes with this look, but I have a few eyelash extensions in at the moment, so I'm going to skip lashes. So those are the eyes finished for now. The best thing about this eye look for me is that it suits any lip color at all. So if you know how to create this eye look, whether you're wearing a nude lip, a red lip, an orange lip, a pink lip, this eye look is going to suit it. So I thought I would show you three different lip options today. I won't be applying lip liner because it will just take too long to show you everything all together if I'm showing you three lip colors, but I am going to show you three different shades of the Clinique Pop Liquid Matte Lip Color and Primer. I will show you the nude one first and then two kind of bright shades. This is the shade Cake Pop. It is one of my favorite nudes at the moment. I just apply it straight with the doe foot applicator like so. And then I like to dab it in with my finger. You can see how simple that was to apply. That just gives you a really opaque, but kind of no mess, no fuss 
nude lip that will last you all evening. But now I'm going to show you the two brighter colors. The brighter colors I would use a lip liner with. Clinique has lip liners that coordinate with each of these lipsticks. But I'm just going to show you the matte lip color on its own today. I'm actually using the Take the Day Off um, Cleansing Balm Stick to remove the color and then just some cotton buds. It's a really simple way to change lip colors. The second shade I'm going to show you is called Boom Pop. This is a gorgeous deep purpley shade. As you can see, this deep, sexy shade really vamps up the look and makes it super nighttime appropriate if you're looking for a very sexy and smoldery look. And finally, I have the shade Flame Pop to show you, which is a really vibrant, sexy red. I have worn these lipsticks all day long and the color lasts and is super matte without actually making your lips feel crusty and dry. And it also feels very light on the lips. You don't get that kind of thick, chunky lipstick feeling. It feels very light. It's a gorgeous, sexy, eye-catching red that you cannot go wrong with. And again, this eye color, this eyeshadow look is perfect for it. So this is the finished makeup look here. I think it's really sophisticated. I think it's very achievable for any normal girl to recreate at home. It doesn't have crazy cut creases or super sharp liner that I find really hard to create anyway. I don't know about you guys. You guys are probably better at makeup than me sometimes. But yeah, I absolutely love this look. It's one of my go-to looks for when I want to look sophisticated and sexy, but still nice and polished. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe. I'd love to have you here as part of the family. Of course, let me know in the comment section what other videos you'd like to see from me. And I will talk to you again really soon.